Julian Weaver uh, came to us. Uh, he was he was introduced by a, by a good friend, and so when we when we when we researched his work, we were like, "Wow, this cat is like he's he's right there." He's right there along with our whole theme. We call this the juke joint get down. So we want to keep in the tradition of the old juke joint. You know, people gathering, all ages, all different types of vibrations, just coming together. And so, seeing his work where he makes these guitars out of, out of cigar boxes, it just really, really fascinated me. And um, so we wanted, definitely wanted him to be a part of this. And so that's why he's, He's here, he's sharing, he's selling, so definitely check his stuff out. Please talk to him to get more information about his art. I'm gonna let him uh, talk to you guys about um, what his art is about, and then we're gonna do a little, uh, a little performance, all right? And then we're gonna, we're gonna party. Okay, here's Julian Wayne, give him a hand. You know, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody that came out, friends and family, those of you that I do not know, you know, it's, you know, as an artist, especially in D.C., this is not the most artistic town, so to get support and, you know, know that people are interested, that, that just means so much. As far as the cigar, cigar boxes, um, you know, this is something that started out about a hundred years ago, uh, back in, during the Depression. People couldn't, you know, they were trying to eat, so spending, you know, whatever a guitar cost then, you know, it just was out of reality. But people need art and people need music, so they will find a way. So a lot of people, you know, down in the Delta, poor, they just have an old cigar box, maybe grab some wires out of like a screen off a broom or whatever. And so that became the music. Uh, that became their way to make music, and eventually, as things got better, if you showed some talent with that, then you would graduate, and somebody would buy you a real guitar. Uh, it's kind of come full circle now, where you know you're seeing um, you got all these professional guitars that cost maybe 500, 800, 1,000, 7,000, you know, whatever you want to spend. But you know, there's something about taking it back to that old school sound and. I saw, first came across these in one of these magazines that teach you how to make stuff. And I was like, oh, I feel like I could do that. So I uh, made one and the first thing, I had no idea what it would sell like. It's a cigar box. It's not meant to make music. You know, it's meant to hold scars. But then I strum a note and I'm like, oh my God, this sounds like those old blues records. You know, the ones from the 30 where, so, you know, it's just old and dirty, but it's beautiful because it's so dirty. And, you know, I guess any more talking would just be pointless because, you know, where a picture is worth a thousand words, I think, you know, just hearing it for yourself will give you more than anything I could say. So without further ado, I guess we could get started. Well, so what do we 